Crystal says, I am looking to create a database, not sure where is best yet, for potential employees. I need to be able to easily search this when a new employee is required, uh, especially on their skill set. What tool would I be best to use on Office 365 or SharePoint? So there's, there's a few. I mean, you've got the whole contact card and people filling in their details or history that kind of delve back in and profiles and things that you can search across the across the business. You could set up lists with it. You could set up, um, oh God, there's so many, there's so many options here, really. So um, let alone third party tools that are, you know, databases of information, depends on how much you want the individual to fill it out, but they're, you know, in through their contact card and something, stuff like that really helps. Does the Viva have the new people? Yeah, people cards, card. The, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, we're talking. Yeah. Is that available yet? But are those for external? It depends on what they got. Are those for external people? No, no. Because this is specifically internal. potential employees. So they're they're trying to mm -hmm. keep a database of maybe I want to hire somebody. So they're not giving them a, a, a license. So for me, mm -hmm. SharePoint potential. or lists makes sense. And I, I can always create a relational database using several SharePoint lists. You make one list with the employees info or the person's information. You make another list with all the documentation. You have a lookup field that goes back to the employee or the people list so that you can you can tag all of the documentation that comes with it, or whatever their certs, their resume, any of the other stuff, uh, maybe a URL to their to their blog or their you know website or whatever. And then if you really want to over architect it, you might as well throw a power app on top of that with some galleries in there so that you can search and scroll through and find the people. And when you click on a person, it pulls up all their do their documentation. Build you a know. power virtual agent that just you just go and ask. I'm looking for somebody that can help Absolutely. me with this. There you go. Build it. Start like, from a Microsoft form. So the person fills it in and pungs it in in the yes. first place straight into the Excel document, which you can convert to a list that then does what you will no, say no, on the back no, no, of that. No. You use a power automate that ingests that information and puts it right into SharePoint. <laughs> Hashtag better together. Yes. <laughs> and then, of course, you will obviously have to put a Power BI dashboard out there so you can, you know, slice and dice and find how many people know this skill or that skill. And now we've got the entire Power Platform working together. With the the anonymized data within uh, Viva Insights, um, we don't know individual, but if the organization is large enough, you can tie it to uh, the the you know that person's profile against the company wide standard. So you can also, as part of this automation, identify really how that person's skills and capabilities, self reported and uh, and team reported. Uh, uh, ways against those company-wide standards are they really experts you know so yeah there's a lot that you can go build and i think we're we're doing this partly in jest but it's the it really is like what what are you trying to do how much time do you have i would <laughs> love to build really that creative for them too one. that'd be fun yeah. there there are people that you can but, hire like, do this for fun do it for fun like <laughs> That's, like that's not my idea of fun. That's not my idea of fun. That sounds like pure hell to me. <laughs> but I do like that, you know, a SharePoint list, a Microsoft list that has that depending on an even simpler solution there. It just has, it's a matter of, you know, creating the, uh, the, 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 the columns, capturing the, the skills as part of each of those profiles. So that when you're looking, because my first thought is, yeah, for potential employees would be like, well, like a vendor list, uh, like a consultant yeah. list. Exactly. Uh, who are the people that I could tap into that have these skills that we need for for this problem? The downside I was gonna go would old be. School. I was going to say, uh, like, pull out the Rolodex, folks. Come on. <laughs> you know, a lot of the times we're searching for um, not necessarily the same skills that we're used to. 
the downside would be it's the skills of a project that's a new topic that we're often going out to employ someone that we don't have internally. And that's where you may not have that data capture in the first place. So, you know, if you've got something where you've even scanned in resumes or in some OCR capturing where it then pulls the pulls the information out of resumes of just some of the most random words that you might need to pull as well, because that's the, that's where that gap really comes into play. Because if you're only taking down the things that you're fairly used to having inside a business and and not the other stuff in the, your columns, then you're going to have some trouble around that. So that's where you might need to consider what you, what you need to capture in the first place. Well, and that's why with external folks, it's always going to be, uh, you know, old, outdated data as soon as you've captured and published. I mean, you'd, you'd have to constantly go and pull that in. That's one of the reasons why I love some of the new Viva features that are, again, we're talking about internal, not external, um, but that it allows to you to go and query like what's happening in the it's organization such. and who are the experts based on the work actually being done. I mean, that's the vision Big, of what we're moving topics. towards. Yeah. But mm -hmm. externally, unless people are keeping up to date and adding their projects in, you know, their profiles are as fresh as the last time everybody updated. Yeah, there'll always be that gap. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.